no I tournaments will hurt me. myself because <laughs> I go for everything. <laughs> oh, they do! I do! It's crazy. Hi, everybody. We are live on Facebook. This is Denise and Bessie, CEO and founder of Muscle Mix Music. Welcome to our monthly matcha tea time show. Here's my tea. Yum, 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 yum. And uh, we come out here every month, although I've been slacking last month, I was not available. I apologize. Traveling, got a little COVID, got a whole bunch of stuff happening last month. But uh, come out here every month and I like to interview fitness industry leaders, thought leaders, experts in the industry to help you, the fitness professional, learn more about how to perfect your trade, especially because nowadays a lot of instructors are solopreneurs and have their own business and, and do a hybrid and teach from home and in person. So welcome. Today I have a very good friend here and someone super special in the industry, and that is Ms. Tammy Lee Webb. Welcome. Hello. I am honored that you had me in your uh, in your tea time, and I'm drinking cold tea because okay. I just taught a class. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Now I want to give you. I want to give everyone your bio because I actually learned some things about you today myself. Okay. Reading the bio, so I'm going to read it verbatim. It's just better. Uh, Tammy Lee Webb is best known for being the star of the former Buns of Steel, the famous Buns of Steel and Abs of Steel fitness video series. Combined sales reached over 14 million units. That was back in the day. But besides repeatedly topping the billboard charts, she has published four best-selling books. I didn't know this. I did know about the original rubber band workout. No. Step Up Fitness. And I did know about workouts for dummies. And then Defy Gravity Workout. I love that. She does. Uh, she truly brings fitness home. She appeared daily on Fit TV, previously known as the Health Network channel. She was the host of ESPN's Fitness Pro Series and consulted with Fox Sport Body Squad uh, with so many workouts. She's going to tell us today a little bit about her webworkouts.com, where you can join a monthly subscription. She did this pre-COVID, guys. She's way ahead of the curve. Her most recent accomplishment, I did not know this, and I'm really happy about this. She was inducted into the Fitness Hall of Fame in 2008 alongside fitness greats Kathy Smith, Judy Massette, Jack LaLanne, et cetera. And a little trivia, your name is not your birth name? No. She changed it to Tammy Lee when she was singing and playing guitar for your love of country music. Yeah. Let's start with that. What is that about? What is your birth well, name? Okay, so the name will kind of give you an idea of when, when I was born because that name was very famous back then. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy's in love. Oh yeah. I hated that name. So my real birth name is Tammy Marie Webb. And um, okay. Okay. when I started, uh, well, I started playing guitar when I was in second grade, but um, when I actually was old enough to change my name because I wanted to be a country music singer. I changed it to Tamalee. So if you're from the South, you would say Tamalee. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been saying it wrong. <laughs> Tamalee. If you're from California, you say Tammy Lee. Just don't oh, okay. say Tamilia. Tamilia. No, no, no. Tamalee. 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 Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Yeah. All right. So it's not that different. So you were Tammy and you just wanted. So you officially changed your name. You really are Tammy Lee to me. You always will Thank be. You. Everybody knows. I mean, it, I don't know of any other Tammy Lees. I mean, you are Tammy Lee. Even just the first name. We don't even need Webb. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of my friends just call me TL. TL. Oh, okay. TL. TL. So how did you go from playing the guitar? Like that was your love and your passion. Mm -hmm. How did you go from that to fitness or to Buns of Steel? Well, I, I can't, I come from a very small little town in Northern California where I had yeah. three brothers. My dad played semi-pro baseball. So I was always around boys mm -hmm. and on the farm, I had horses and, and we listened to country music all the time. And I just felt in love with country music. And so um, I just picked up the guitar and did some lessons and was strumming and playing for a really long time. And so when I, it was time to go off to college, um, 
I, it, I was kind of torn between, okay, music, or should I be a nurse, or should I go into um, fitness, because I loved, I was always athletic, because I had to be with the boys, but um, so when I was, I went to uh, Cal State Chico. And um, I'll never forget this because the day of my, it was the day before my orals, I was a mess for my master's program. So it was the first year that they offer master's program in exercise science, which today they call kinesiology. It's a so, huge deal back then. Yeah, yeah. back then Imagine. it was it was all new, and I was I was so nervous. And so my friends go, "We're taking you out," and I'm like, "No, I can't go out drinking." They're like, "Well, you're not drinking. We're drinking. You're driving." <laughs> like, great, but we're going to take you to a country western bar. So we we go to this dive bar, kind of out in the in the boonies, and um and the. And the, the band that was playing said, if anybody can get up and sing a song, we'll give you free drinks the rest of the night. And of course, my friends are like, get out there, get up there. I go, <sighs> and they're like, we are. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I get up there and uh, I sang Cold Miner's Daughter. Oh and, my God. And they're like, wow, you want to sing another one? I said, sure. And so I just sang one more. And, and when I went back to the table, of course, they all got drinks and I didn't. And, um, Anyway, this gentleman comes over to me and he hands me a card and he says, I'm an agent for Tiger, um, I almost said Tiger Woods, uh, Tiger Bell. And it was a band that played warm up in Vegas for all the big stars. Really? And, and they're like, and we're looking for a lead female vocalist. And I'm like, what? No I, I'm graduating tomorrow with, with <sighs> my degree and I'm going to go. Yeah. <laughs> Right, right. So, so what happened? Well, so I graduated. I I uh, moved to San Diego, and yeah. this is where you and I come in together. Is right. from I I don't I it must have been a probably in a good ten years later. I'm now in Vegas. I'm in Vegas because that's where we had the idea conference, which is yes. again this year, right? So yeah. I'm in Vegas and it was a year that idea decided they wanted to do a talent show with the presenters. That's right. I do remember that. I you remember? It? And so yeah. I, I'm like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. Well, I didn't play my guitar or anything, but I sang old time rock and roll. Oh my so God. So here I'm in, in, in vegas i remember sliding out my socks and singing <laughs> right and and then probably about a week later i get a letter in the mail and he, and it's from a, an agent in no uh, nashville and he said my wife dragged me to this conference idea and there was this <laughs> talent show and i was there and i saw you and i just thought wow i think this girl might have some potential and, oh, and again, no I'm like, there's no way because I had just got done, I think, with my maybe third Buns of Steel video. So what am I going to do? Lee, and I'm not really that good. I am not a great singer whatsoever. Oh, I am I'm not sure you trained. I wing it. But um, anyway, I stuck with fitness. And I think it what did. a great story. I never knew that's that. that. You know, story. too bad that wasn't a time when we had phones. Do you have that on video? Like, do you ever, I mean, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> no, but, they uh, didn't. They did not have those have phones. Because that would have been a gem to keep. <laughs> Oh my God, that's awesome. I wonder if Idea has those old ones. Yeah, I we have to see. They probably have some video. I would imagine, because I remember the time Ellen DeGeneres hosted, remember that? Yeah. She wore she wore the uh, G-string on the outside of her suit. Yes. <laughs> I remember that, that was great. What I a great story, I love that. So let's talk about Buns of Steel really fast. We'll touch yeah. on it and then we'll move on. Okay, How good. did that come about? Because I know, did it have something to do with Phil Trotter? I feel like he was involved somehow. Yeah, right? so, yeah. Um, well, I'll, I'll go really fast. So the, the backstory yeah, is nice. Buns of Steel was actually developed by a guy named Greg Smithy. And Greg Smithy owned um, clubs up in uh, Alaska. And I guess one day, oh. one of his uh, a members said, you've got Buns of Steel. And he was smart enough to go, wow, that's a great name. So he, he videotaped himself. He did a production with, and he kind of looked like a young Chuck Norris. So he had the headbands and, you know, all this stuff. Yeah. And he's yeah, doing yeah. the old donkey kicks and everything. Right, right. <laughs> Meanwhile, he, and I think that he did this, who produced it was, was Phil. So 
he um, he leaves the country because I guess there were some issues with uh, paying employee taxes and gives the the video to Phil. It's Phil, right? Yeah, Phil. Yeah, yeah Phil. Okay, God, it was just it's been a while. It's okay. So okay. he gives he gives it to him. Then Phil gives it to a, a company called the Mayor Group. And back in those days, those days, it was <laughs> you would get in the mail. A, a catalog of all the of the videos, right? Right, Remember right. You get in the catalog, yes. it would be, yes. and they'd have special interests, and that would be fitness. So yeah, yeah, yeah. his video was in there, and he he looked like a young Chuck Norris and said Bunza Still. Well, it was selling pretty well in in San Francisco, and they thought, hmm, okay, maybe we need to repackage it to make it look uh, that it's it's also for women. So yeah, that's what yeah. they did. And they said, you know, I think we're really on to something. And so they went to Phil and said, look, we want to do, we want to produce a new video, but with a woman. And wow. um, and to make a long story short, that's how Phil and I met because of Steve Block Spry Products. And oh, um, yeah. I, I was only, he only contracted me on <laughs> one video and it, it took off. And then they wow. came back and contracted me for three videos only. There was never like a long, really? you know, really? and, and so I ended up doing like nine of the originals. And at one point they were all on the top billboard. Yeah, um, it's amazing. It was amazing. And it, it was just a good combination of wow. marketing, I think mm -hmm. workouts. And the thing that I did business wise for myself is I knew that yeah. I didn't want to be talent and I needed to, to make sure that my name my body and that my credits were everywhere on that box. Really? Well, you were yeah. smart enough to know that. That's awesome. Because that's awesome. That's if they good. decided, okay, we've had enough, you, you know, fine, go. Right. But Let's move on. Establish myself. And I knew that I could go on and, and do more. That's very smart. Very so smart. That, a lot of people didn't kinda, do that. Uh, how it went. And then I ended up um, doing the platinum series and then oh. they sold it to which is now warner and um right. but before they sold it warner had come to me and given me my own contract to do tamily web but videos oh, wow. and then they bought the mirror group and put me back in buns of steel and wow. i did another series called quick tonings nice wow that's so amazing now did you always feel like that was your forte you know um bun butt workouts and <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Okay. That... Okay. Let's rewind. Let's go yeah. back. As a child, I had a bubble butt and my, my brothers would tease me about my butt. My neighbors would tease me about my butt, my butt, my bubble, bubble, butt. And right. guess what? It turned out to be my greatest asset. Yes, it did. Did I, did I, <laughs> did I go out to do, you know, butt workouts? No, I, but I did enjoy yeah. fitness and helping people. And I knew that my way of reaching more people would be through video and television so that it. was kind of my goal yeah. was to get to do television and video yeah. which i did because like she you did. you were always here. teaching in health clubs yeah. and yeah well you know i'll never forget um one year we were at the idea convention and there were a, there was a group of people from japan and they were like tammy lee tammy you want to take your picture and they you had to pose or maybe you do this all the time you had a pose with your butt. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, there you go. Well, anyway, that's what they're most interested, right? Of course. Yeah. Of course. I, you know, I, one of my great, awesome. one of my clients today said, I was asking her because I'm doing a presentation uh, on Friday for a company. And, and she said, I said, Hey, give me some pointers of what, what stands out that you think that that I provide for you. And she says, well, I got to tell you, I, cause my friends, when they know that I'm training with Bunza still, they say, well, does she still look the same? And she goes, her butt has not lost any gravity. <laughs> so I love that. I'm like, okay, it's still it's standing up there. Still up oh, there. I love yeah. I love that. Well, now that we've all gotten a little older, I mean, you're definitely still teaching, yeah. you know, and you're, we're not going to talk about age, but which is amazing, but uh, things have changed. And that leads us to the topic that you're going to talk about today, which I guess you gave us three topics. One is how to outsmart the midlife fat cell. 
by yeah. building more muscle. And you and I talked about this on the phone a little bit a couple of weeks back, but hit us. What's the secret? What well, is, I, uh, so yeah, what I'm have you discovered a on that? big believer. Remember my training is about the body. So I loved learning about the body internally as well as externally. And when it comes to fitness, most people are looking, especially when we're younger, and they're looking at the body, right? Oh, I want abs of steel. I want that butt or I want, you know, they want this. Yeah. What media puts out there is this perfect body. And as we know, our body changes throughout the years. And um, you've got to keep moving. Your body's going to change. Your, your skin is your largest organ. It is it, it, it's bombarded every day with whatever it is, the sun, the rain, the what you put in your body, but it's internally that we really need to take a look at. So if you unzipped your body and took a look at the inside, what does that look like? Most of us will ignore our bodies until we can't, our body says, no, 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 you cannot ignore us anymore. Yeah, you have to yeah. start paying attention. And so this is what I love. And as as you age, you got to keep moving. You have to be consistent. That is the number one. Be mm. consistent with be consistent. Be, being consistent with your um, workouts or whatever you want to call it. I just want you to move. You got to move your body. Right. You, have to, right. you have to keep that up. But muscle has no age. Now, muscle will decrease as we get older. In okay. fact, it, it'll start like in your 48% and, and it just, by the time you're in your, you know, seventies, it's up to, to 24% and you think, oh. okay, so I'm losing muscle, but the muscle doesn't age. It's you slow down. Oh. If you don't lose, if you don't use oh. it, you lose it. And we've heard right. that saying, right? Of course. It's so true. There's a book and this is where the title comes from. Um, there's a book called outsmarting the midlife fat cell by De Deborah Waterhouse. And right. um, I used to recommend it all the time and I still recommend it. And it explains the, the female fat cell, um, which usually starts changing in your forties. So that's when women will say, oh, you know, now I got this muffin top. And the reason yeah. is what happens is in your, your reproductive organs, your, um, you know, your eggs shrivel up like a raisin. Right, right. So no longer there. <laughs> They, they, they shrivel up. So yeah. the estrogen that's being made needs to be made by your fat cells and women carry most oh. of their fat cells around their midsection, their hips and their thighs. Yeah. So yeah. that's why you'll start seeing some of those changes where you're going, why is my pants a little tighter? Why am I getting a little muffin top? And so it's oh. those fat cells that are at work, but it's our hormones. They pay, they play such a big part to yeah. everything and what we do. But if they're wow. out of balance, your, your whole, your whole body's going to be out of balance. Yeah. yeah. So you, and we know that to, you've got to, um, to really think about that and go, okay, I got to get I got to check for me. It was, it wasn't until I got on bioidenticals that put me mm. in balance, but it was the right formula that put me in balance so that I could, you know, maintain or drop my weight when I wanted and not feel like just a, a bloated blow, blow fish. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because we, I mean, yeah, there's sometimes it's we really it. fascinating. So the fat cells kick in. Okay. Yeah. Because so the reproductive organs the eggs, like you said, shrivel up. That's they very age. interesting. Your muscle they age. doesn't age. And your muscle, huh. muscles are your friend. Your muscle protects your body. It protects your bones. And of course we know mm. as the more muscle mass you have, the more fat that we can burn, right? At rest. And wow. here's a great saying, it's, you know, dieting will change the number on the scale, but okay. it's, it's exercising that will change your body. And to change your body, you've got to pay attention to your muscles. Muscle. So your muscles get condensed and they, they change your body. Wow. So if I can get a client, so when I, I have my clients, I always get to make sure they have a, a smart scale and it's not to weigh yourself every day. It's to oh. have a benchmarker. So on the smart scale, it will, it, you, you, it'll print out on your phone because you have the app, oh, right? Wow. I never thought, I never say, knew that. Here's your total weight. What's your goal weight? So okay. they'll say, I weigh 150, but I want to weigh 120. 
Yeah. And I'm like, uh, okay. Good so luck let's, with that. Look at, <laughs> let's look at of that 150, how much of that is fat right now and how much of that is muscle? Because me as a coach, I want to bring the fat down and the muscle up. I don't care about that weight in the middle. It's going to okay. go down anyway, but right. if, it, if it doesn't go down a whole lot. So I have one client, right. she it, it's, I mean, five or eight pounds now. And she was getting frustrated because she's focused on the number. That number, and I said, yeah. Let's take your measurements because we always take the measurements. Yeah. She had dropped two dress yeah. sizes already. Wow. So that's said, amazing. Isn't that more, more important than absolutely on the scale? Exactly. Absolutely. And it's because we are working your muscles. You right. have to work your muscles. Muscles have no age. Fat cells do. Uh, now that's a great cells, reminder. But fat cells, you're born with X amount of fat cells. So I always like to say, like, when people lose the weight, they like, oh, I lost the weight. It's gone forever. Uh, back up. Okay. Oh, really? A fat cell. If you're born with so many fat cells in your body oh, and I didn't know add that. more weight, the, it's like a balloon. You make that oh. balloon go a little bit bigger, right? So now you're going, gosh, I think I need to drop some weight. And up in the, up in your brain, up in the hypothalamus where yeah. um, is regulated, it will say, uh, what? No, we're really happy right here. <laughs> and you're like, no, I am going to lose this weight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Finally, the scale will adjust. Now what happens in the fat cell, it will, it, it's like letting the air out. So when you let hmm. the air out, that fat cell doesn't go away right? It's oh, it still just, there. It just gets down in size. Right. But what does it look like? It looks like a, a balloon that, had balloon the air that hasn't been blown. Loose, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, you keep doing that gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, oh. lose weight. Right. And as we age, because as we age, our cells don't rejuvenate as quick as they did when we were younger. So like mm. young women who have children and they're like, oh, I was back in my bikini in seven days. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. They have, they're young enough where their body retracts, <laughs> right? But as you get older, it, it takes a little bit longer. So oh, wow. it all it is, is it inflated or deflated? And it's ready. It's going, uh-uh. We have a memory because muscle has memory that yes, it you does. were here. So if you go back to, I call it the landscape. If you go back to that old landscape, then that fat cell is just waiting to go shh, like this. Wow. So remember the biggest loser? Yes, oh, yes. These were, these were mor morbidly obese people. Yes, they were. And in yes, three were. months, and you and I know this, it, it, it you takes can't lose. In three months to get that weight. Yeah. It's not no, going to no, take no. them three months to get it off, but that's what no. the show did to them. So what do you think? Look, their fat cell is just waiting, which if they didn't create a new mm. landscape, so a landscape is a new, um, a new landscape. It's a new well, habit. It's like farming the land and it's starting farm, all over. Yes. I got it. I got it. So when I, like I work with my clients halfway through, they, I take the before and their afters and I say, okay, this is the old landscape and this is the new landscape. And if you don't stay on this new landscape, guess where you're going? You're going back, back to, to the, the old, old landscape. Mm, wow. Fascinating. So uh, one of the ways that you can, and that's in retraining right and firing mm -hmm. the brain cells mm -hmm. so one of the things that i do let's do this together this can be fun. yeah okay okay so yeah. point your finger and a thumb up okay finger and thumb if up. anybody's okay. listening do this with us so I'm sure they are. <laughs> we're going to challenge we're going to challenge the right and left brain so i want you to switch quickly <laughs> you have two Wild. thumbs up no oh, whoops whoops oh whoops Switch. Oh, yeah, was it? Okay, switch. 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 I can't. Okay, but you keep going and you work on it. The proprioceptor is going to fire. The 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 um the brain cells are firing. They're like, okay, I can get this. I can get this. I can get this. Can get and this, you I will because you're used to working with your body. So it's marriaging sure. the brain with the body to work together together a little bit quicker. So. Um, it's, it's a new landscape. It's doing something different and training your body to do it because it will Amazing. always go back to its natural 
have right. it. It wants to go back to it. It wants, wants to go, go back. back. Right. That's where it's most comfortable. Yeah. So in other words, there's hope for me with be being better at playing pickleball. <laughs> we talked about pickleball yes. before. So you know what? I, I feel I'm like switch, God, I'm a switch hitter. I, yeah. I play pickleball with oh. left if I need to. Wow. Do because you do other things I, with your life? I've done so much of this. So here's another. Oh, right. One. Put yeah, your yeah, yeah, hand on your nose and here, and then switch. Okay. And then switch. And, I, think I, I think I messed up. And then switch. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, my goodness. That's so interesting. Wow. I've learned so much already. That's, that's, that's. I, you know, and, and I love your reminder because I definitely do need to work on the muscles. Uh, you know, we're talking, we're not talking about just me, but everybody, you know, I mean, yeah. for sure, muscles. Well, because um, people want to go and, and spend time on the cardio machines. Yeah, and it feels good. It's a rush, you know. They're important, but yep. you've got to work your muscles. Yeah. Work your muscles and your body will change. Okay, good to know. You said it first. Yeah. All right, I have another topic here called, uh, which is really interesting. You must achieve the emotional body before you can achieve the physical body. And I know that, you know, from a, just in general sense, but tell me what you mean by emotional body. What so by that? when I work with my clients, I talk about, we have an, a physical body and we have an emotional body because the emotional body is what's going on in here. Yeah. And what is going on in here affects the rest of our body emotionally, which then affects us physically. So okay. example, if you are affected by, um, let's say something that is just stressing you out, are you one then to go and grab a bag of chips? Right. Do you go meditate? I mean, how do you deal with that stress? And the stress is coming from those emotions. So mm -hmm. what you say in your head and we can't record those you like you're not recording what's in your head oh, but wow. your body is recording it so if you every day get up and you're going oh look at the stomach look at these thighs right and you're right, saying right, that right. in your head your body is going what okay instead of true so we can't is, record it it's why do people then hire coaches and stuff to motivate them. You've got Absolutely. this, you Absolutely. know, there's nothing that you can't do if you just put your mind to it. But sometimes they don't know, how do I get there? Here are the steps to get there. Yep. So I always have my, my clients get a, a journal. They must journal. And the reason they journal, yeah. it's their, it's their personal journey where then yeah. they go back and I ask them, I want you to star when it was a good day. And why was it a good day? What were you eating? What were you doing? What were you thinking? Because all of those will come into play. Now, when you had a bad day, same thing, you've got to highlight, you've got to understand. So when we get to a plateau or things just all of a sudden went to the, to back to the old landscape, yeah. you can yeah. go back and look at your journal your journal will tell you so much about you and what was mm -hmm. going on. Well, tell me about the journaling. Is it, you know, today I went to the grocery store or is it what no, you no, really no, no, feel no, deep no. down? Yeah, like, what do you write about? I never know how no, to do that. No, it's, it, yeah. it, you're writing about your, how do you feel today? Today I woke up and I just okay. felt like I was on fire. I felt like I could light up the day yeah. and I got my workout in. And so it's all related to what your goals are. And okay. then, okay. and then let's say, and then I got the call that I got fired. So right. you put that in there and it left me depressed and I grabbed some chips. There you go. Gotcha. Okay. okay. So it's okay. those things. So then you can, you can start mapping out. Ah, so when, when I, so when stress comes about, then I grab yep. uh, things that hurts my body. So then you have yeah. to find other things to fill that in. To replace. Yeah. You have gotcha. to replace it. Yeah. And how, so when you work with your clients, you don't read their journals. You just, you no. just ask them to do it for themselves. Right. Yes, and then you check their to make journal. Sure that they got it done. Okay, got yes. it. Yes, and wow. they they will learn so much about themselves. But it's not to track everything you do. It's it's right, right. I want them about their feelings, what they're mm -hmm. saying, you know. And each day, I want them 
to say three things in the morning about what you just have gratitude about your body. So for me, I'm usually yeah. walking my dog and I'm like, I am so grateful. I have legs because I've sure. broke my ankle before I've ripped my hamstring oh my. I'm able to yep. walk and enjoy this time with my, my, my beautiful dog. And I look out at the ocean and I'm like, I am so grateful and that I get, sure. you know, so it's being in gratitude because mm-hmm. if you are not in gratitude, you're not going to get what you're mm-hmm. hoping to get because you're not even that that's that whole emotional thing. At least you can find three things that you are grateful for. Absolutely. See, being able to see, hear, and walk. Yes. I mean, those those alone are given, but, you you know, it's sad, Denise, because 40% of Americans, um, I think it's over the age of 30, are more but morbidly obese. I think it's even higher now. Is it and up to 40 now? Se- and I think it's 70 now that are overweight. So there's, you know, there's difference there. Overweight. And I have to say, I mean, I look around. I mean, I'm in California, a lot of fit people out here. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't see that much there. <laughs> but you look and I'm just like, oh, I just feel so, so sad for them because our media, our society puts Mm -hmm. in front of us all the bad stuff like do you ever see a commercial eat your broccoli it's so good look at this broccoli you gotta buy this today it's so green and you can broil no 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 they only promote crap that's in boxes that's going to hurt you yeah it's going to hurt you and but it's yet it's so good because it's addicting and we want more of it Uh uh-huh uh-huh Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And, you know, the world is changing. I mean, I know the West has a problem, the West Americans, you know, we have more of a problem with eating and overeating, you know, whereas in some countries, you know, in the East, they, they definitely focus more on mental health, meditation, yes. breathing, that kind of stuff, which we're not, we're not there yet, but we yeah. are getting, it's starting to slowly happen. Yeah. Um, but, um, okay, so I have topic number three which is the evolution of fitness. And of course we can go back and talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're talking about emotional body. Do you find that mental and emotional components of health are getting more integrated into fitness these days? Oh, I mean, yes, I think you, so, right? I don't know if you remember this one, but it, it was the, an idea convention here in San Diego. Okay. And I, I did, I wanted to do this class and they let me do it. And it was called um, Body and Mind. It was Body and Mind Workout. And I did it almost like, not in bikinis, but the little bra tops and the little, (laughs) and I I had all my Norwegian friends, my girlfriends, they were here and everything was done slowly and contracting and and having your mind connected to the body. It was all kind of new at that time. And it, then I think like the very next year, then we started, remember I just had a, a convention that was all mind and body stuff. Yeah. 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 They sure did. And brought yeah. in more the yoga and the, the mm-hmm. meditation mm-hmm. and all of that. Yeah. And, and so um, nowadays I think it's just a part of it. And it if really it is. isn't, I mean, that's why as a, as a coach, I always, I want people to understand this has to be integrated with this right and if you don't have the integration and the balance it's so going true. to be off something's going to lack um yeah. just like we call you know people who will oh i'll just diet so you're skinny fat because the scale doesn't uh-huh. tell you if you're just looking at a number what does that tell you mm-hmm. i would rather have my curves and my muscle any day than to go, oh, I'm a size mm-hmm. zero. <laughs> right, right. Well, it's right, never right. gonna be me. I'm a mesomorph. It's it is what it is. So <laughs> it is really the true. best of it. Yeah, for sure. Wow. So what um what are you doing these days? Tell us about web workouts because I really don't know. Yeah, thanks much. for asking. Yeah, well obviously during the whole COVID thing everybody everything went online. So yeah. um since I had uh, and I actually started web workouts in 2000 
18. Oh, so I was okay. primed for all of it. Um, it's an oh. online subscription and it's all my old videos as well as yeah. new videos. Oh, and, how cool. um, and then I also invite other instructors. So even though most of them are my oh. workouts, I do okay. invite other instructors to do either. I, I'll take their videos and put them on it because I want them to have a variety and I don't teach yeah. yoga. So I bring on other professionals like yeah. Stacey McCarthy. She does some of my yoga, Jessica she James. Should. And so yeah, you yeah. have a variety. So each month you get a newsletter and you also get healthy recipes that I have from my holistic nutritional um, girlfriends. Oh, and then you get a workout nice. calendar and you can cancel at any time. You can do it monthly or you can do it yearly. Right. And it's only like $12.99. So Wow. And I awesome. did a, a discount for you for your crew. Yes. 22% yep. off. And um, like I said, you can sign up, you can cancel. It it doesn't matter. But each mm -hmm. month I upload mm, anywhere between two or three new workouts. That's great. With with the um, nutritional plans. And you just go to web workouts and that's two B's and S at the two end. Two B's. Yeah. Webworkouts.com. Um, yeah. And the it, offer is summer series 22. That gives you 22% off. Yes. We'll make sure we put that in the okay. post. Yeah, this, so you know, we'll put I, that there. I manage that. And then I okay. also have some online clients. Um, so if you're oh. not here in San Diego, I, right. I do have some online clients, which gotcha. I wasn't sure if I'd really enjoy that, Denise, yeah. because I yeah. like touchy feely and want to be yeah. right there. But um, I've had really good success with these women. And then... I also do personal training, but I only like take eight to 10 clients and that's it. That's, because one, that's a lot. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And cause I got to get my pickleball in. Um, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so that's what I do. And um, so yeah. are the, why, the people that you coach online, uh, why are you coaching them online? Is it because they don't they live don't nearby? Live. So oh, okay. they, you well, know, they may live, you know, cross country somewhere or else. somewhere else. That's so crazy. what we do is um, uh, we meet weekly and uh, by Zoom. And then we review their workout. So I give them usually a new, if it needs to be tweaked, they get a new workout. Uh, I prefer that they are a part of web workouts, um, of but they don't have to be, if they want to work out a gym, I give them all the gym workouts um, and nice. then monitor their, uh, their nutrition. And the way that I do nutrition is I always have them start with a 10 day cleanse. And this yeah. cleanse is not like just drinking juices. That's not it at all. The oh, okay. is actually by one of my um, dearest friends, uh, Sonia Marie nutrition, and she's a holistic nutritionist. And we do oh. her 10 day cleanse is food, but what it's doing is trying mm. to reset hormones. Mm. And so the first five days, there's no animal protein. The second five days you can bring in like fish and chicken. Gotcha. And on an average, and it's not necessarily to, oh, that's going to, you're going to drop 10 pounds. Oh, I, I would see. say that on an average, the women will drop five, the men oh, 10. Darn it. But what it does, <laughs> it gives you a clean slate. So when we start working on your nutrition, oh. then your body has a better chance of, right. of processing. I so like that. I don't give, I don't give meal plans. I don't have you count calories, right? Um, I like want that. you to have um, foods that are food to, to learn what you're eating and then make better choices. But I do yeah. have some rules. There is usually <laughs> no carbs, high carbs after oh, wow. four o'clock. And right. no this food. is in the 10 days or always oh, the whole time. Time. Okay. While, while you're training, I do eight, eight while you're training. Time. and, yep. um, and no eating two hours prior to bedtime Love because it. you want your body to your insulin levels, not to have to work while you're sleeping. You want your body right. to heal itself and to have a, okay. a night's rest. And then, um, hmm. we will try some intermittent fasting. Yeah. Um, that's what I was going to say. That's what it sounds like. Intermittent fasting. Yeah. We do some intermittent fasting. I mean, it's, it's finding what works best for them not yeah, yeah yeah what's right for me it's right it's their, yeah, it's yeah. their life it's their program not cookie cuttering it yeah yeah no. yeah so what um and um you know just to change the subject completely if you when you meet 
new instructors, new people coming into the profession. Can you think of any advice you would give them? Any tips? Two or three <laughs> little nuggets? <laughs> Okay. Well, I, just, I'm just laughing. I the class because I still teach too. I teach group yeah. X classes, oh, and wow. our club just got sold. And um, it was funny because they're like, "So if you want to audition, you know, for the new oh, class. Boy. oh boy, oh they said to you if you want to audition." Yes. <laughs> and I realize I really think they're they're wanting us older, old oh, school God. out for the younger generation to come in. But it's interesting because the club that I teach at, the members are older members. Ah, uh, so they want they you to be there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it will be interesting. Um, you know what, for me, it's just when whoever you resonate with and you admire their work, yeah. reach out to them. Everybody That's needs a, a mentor. Don't ever be afraid. I've mentored several. And I remember when I, I reached out to Kathy Smith because I wanted mm. to do videos and, and she, I just thought was, would be a great mentor. And she was very mm -hmm. sweet. She answered my questions and we're still friends today. And she's, you know, mm. and that's what I think we, as the, mm, the more mature, um, the, the experienced agers um, can help the, the younger generation. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm a little, what's the right word? I, I don't want to use concern, but when we see a lot of the programs being cookie cutters now, so yeah. like yeah. you're going yeah. to learn this routine and you're going to teach it for eight weeks. In and, this order. And yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a little so too. For someone like me, it, that takes away from my creativity. Absolutely. I love doing. So I, I could never do that. But if somebody isn't creative enough to put together their own stuff, but they're very motivating, yeah. um, I can see that working. So sure. I, I don't know where that's going, but my advice is, yeah, find, find mentors and, and don't be afraid to ask and go for what you want. There's going to be, there's going to be mistakes made. You just chalk them up as, okay, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I'm not doing that yet. I love it. Now, how did you, how did you always have, did you just have a natural ability towards the business side of things? Or did somebody teach you even that part? Because a lot of times, at least in the early days, women mostly who were yeah. teaching always uh, focused mostly on the education and they forgot about the fact that they had to make money doing it. Yeah. Um, you know, how did that come about? We just always naturally it like It was that. the same. No, no. I've had lots of mistakes <laughs> and I, I, oh, I get you. again, I would reach out to uh, business minded people, um, mm -hmm. how they would do things. If I didn't know something, uh, I would reach out yeah. and say, yeah. Hey, how, what's working for you in this area? I'm having a really hard time. Um, you know, like Stacey McCarthy, who won instructor of the mm -hmm. year for idea. Yeah. I love her. her and I are dear friends. I produce some of oh. her videos and, um, okay. you know, finding the right platform for web workouts. Mm -hmm has been a challenge. So when I first started, yeah. I was on Kajabi and I just didn't like the look of it. Kajabi is okay. really good for, um, you know, seminars, workshops, courses. Things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Courses. But, um, and then I moved over to you screen and I think mm -hmm. visually it was, it was great, but okay. then, um, I was talking to Stacey and I'm like, what are you doing? And she goes, I'm using our Ar Arketa and it uh -huh. built by, yeah you know, a, a fitness person. I'm like, yep. Yeah. So that's yeah, sure. where web workouts is now. And, and so far oh, nice. it's working out Love those I, guys. Yeah, yeah. And I can have, you know, my on demand, I can offer private sessions, my live mm -hmm. sessions, um, all the different. Great. Yeah. So I'm very, very happy so far with Arketa. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Then, yeah. We like that. Know, we hear reach a lot of out. Yeah. I love that. I love so tell me, uh, where can people find you? Uh, how can anybody connect with you? Should they just go to webworkouts.com? You, you can go to, um, well, Tammy Lee at webworkouts.com, or you okay. can reach me through uh, Facebook, Instagram, any of those. Okay. I, I do check my messages there, but yeah, All reach right. out to me to, at Tammy Lee. Tammy Lee, and the, here's the bad thing about the name Tammy Lee. A lot of people uh -oh. don't know how to spell it. Really? Yeah. They spell oh, it's all kinds of different ways of spelling it. 
Um, so okay. Tammy Lee at webworkouts.com. Well, we'll put and it I in always the get so. back. Eventually I will get, I, I will love get back. Con, con, you know, talking to people and finding how can I help you? I mean, yeah. I'm here to see you. Oh, you're so awesome. Yeah. Well, this was really special. I was really, I, I can't believe I haven't seen you in two, two plus years. Usually we see each other every year and we every laugh year. and we go out to eat and, you know, we cause a lot of trouble. So but we're going to do that see. soon. We're going to do that in July. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to bring uh, a pickleball rackets. Uh, uh, yeah, that we might say that. Um, but uh, yeah, please come back anytime. If you have anything else you ever want to share to, for fitness professionals, reach out to Tammy Lee Webb. If you don't know anything about her, if you've never seen her teach, please go visit webworkouts.com. Or reach out to her, to Tammy. Say Lee. one thing to you, please, please, please. So I want to say to everybody that is watching or listening to this is that um, I'm sure you, if they don't already know Denise and her past, I got to tell you, this woman is a a a tra trailblazer. She set. Aww. She was one that set the platform for us to have great music. Oh, and we needed it at a time. You had a vision. You provided uh, a product and a service that millions of us, you know, followed, uh, used, so and 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 so I cannot thank you enough for all that you have done in the past Absolutely. as well as in the present of what you're oh doing. Thank you so much, Sammy. You're welcome. Love sweetie. you so much. That's very sweet. Well, come again, okay? Thank you so much. That was very okay. sweet. Very kind words. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next month. Bye. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.